Hello and welcome back to Tales of Lumen. My name is Lumen and right now I've just got so much to talk about. So much. I want to start by saying thank you to each and every one of you that left comments on the previous Tales of Lumen video. The one that was titled Heart to Heart. That liked it. That favorited it. That shared it. That sent me tweets. Messages. Emails. And all the rest. Thank you. I mean... Here I am, probably the only YouTuber in the entire world that hasn't disabled their comments. And look what I'm getting for it. Just look. It's something else. You guys are something else. Something special in the best possible way. The amount of helpful, insightful, and just plain nice comments I got Messages I got, tweets I got, emails I got. It's off the Richter. It's absolutely cray. Thank you. Thank you so much for telling me to cheer up, to chin up. Telling me that it's going to be okay. Giving me constructive criticism that I can use. Giving me hints and tips. Pointing me towards useful resources. The list goes on. And it's all you. You. And you. Each and every one of you. Thank you. And what makes me sad is that I haven't been able to reply to all the messages I've wanted to reply to, to all the emails I want to reply to, tweets, comments. And there's a good reason for that, which I'm going to tell you about right now. Yesterday was a bad day for me, so yesterday being the day after I released the video, the day that didn't have a Tales of Loom episode uploaded on it, it was a bad day because I had the worst possible migraine. Maybe not the worst possible, maybe I've had worse in my lifetime, but it was really bad. I was throwing up all my food, I was trying to sleep most of the day, I wasn't having a good time, and it was sad because... In the morning when I woke up and I read all those comments, I was ready, hyped, pumped up. I wanted to do things, but then <laughs> that happened. And there were various reasons that led to that. I didn't sleep very well. I had like restless legs that night. We spent most of the day on our feet in the hot sun, doing things, running errands that needed to be run. Mostly wedding stuff, but some other stuff too. And I didn't drink enough, and you know what? A lot of things led up to it, but because of that I didn't get a whole lot done yesterday. And it makes me a little bit sad, I didn't get to reply to everyone. Also makes me sad, but hey, today I'm doing fine. Today I'm going to start doing that. I also wanted to go through all the comments and I wanted to actually just compress them into something that I can look at every single day and just marvel at. No, I wanted to actually just take all the useful stuff that you guys gave me because there were a lot of nice hints and tips that I honestly want to spend a bit more time with, think about, consider and get back to you guys about. So, I'm going to spend time doing that. I'm going to get back to the comments and messages and emails and even tweets at some point during the next 24 hours. So, don't worry about that. But I just wanted to actually say thank you and tell you that I appreciate it more than you could ever know. Truly. I do. Now, we're going to move on to something much more upbeat. In some ways, I guess. Reaper of Souls. Blizzard have released, or launched, or started up, the friends and family closed beta test for Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. And I'm super excited. I just can't wait to get in there. I don't currently have access to it, sadly. Actually, my Battle.net account just isn't working at the moment. I can't open battle.net. I can't open the launcher. I don't know what's going on. Something funky is happening with our internet. But regardless of that, 
I'm trying my best. I've emailed a whole bunch of people. I've messaged people. I'm trying my best to get a key so I can get in there, so I can start posting videos, start having a look at what's going on there, start my coverage up. It's not going to slow anything else down. It's going to be extra. I'm going to be putting in extra hours to get that done because I want to the second I get in. But what I really wanted to discuss in this video was actually one specific point. One thing. The fact that the entirety of Act 5 is available in this beta test. That's what I wanted to talk about. So firstly, Blizzard did say that the number of invites is going to be extremely limited this time around. Even during closed beta testing, there won't be a lot of people in the beta test. And I suppose those two things are linked because seeing that the entire act is there, they obviously don't want everyone out there, everyone with a Battle.net account, everyone with Diablo 3, logging in, playing through the entirety or almost the entirety of Act 5. I say almost because I know for a fact now that the cutscenes aren't there, or a lot of the cutscenes at least, some of the cinematics aren't there, some of the dialogue's been removed, the end boss is not currently implemented. I don't think it's going to be implemented because they had to, had to at least keep something a secret. But the act itself, all the ground you get to cover is there. Then you can also access the adventure mode, the Nephilim Rifts, and all the other new features and systems they put in. And I wanted to discuss that with you guys. I wanted to hear what you thought about all of that. Because I am actually undecided. I don't know if I like it. And I also don't know if it's perhaps the best thing ever. Sure, for someone like me, it's actually pretty cool. Because I have a whole lot of potential content there. I get to go through that act. Record all of it. Upload it in the form of videos for you guys to watch. And that's cool. For those of you that want to watch it. That don't mind being spoiled. But on the flip side. If you do get invited to this beta test. And you do play through it. Or alternatively. You spend some time watching someone stream on Twitch TV. You maybe watch a full playthrough of this new act. You spoil yourself. In doing so. You completely spoil yourself. And there's... I'd say nothing left when the game actually launches. But that's what I wanted to ask you guys. Do you think that they've given away or shown too much in doing so? Because if you remember what they did with the Diablo 3 beta, vanilla, they just had the start or maybe the first third to half of the first act available for play up to Leoric the Skeleton King and... Very little of the game was given away in that. I mean, you still had the rest of the first act and then the other three acts entirely to play through. You only got to a certain level in the beta. You didn't get to see all the skills and stuff. But now, with the Reaper of Souls, Friends and Family beta, and I suppose also later in the year, the closed beta, you get to see everything bar the final boss fight. So you get to see every single area, all the randomized versions of those areas if you play a lot now. You get to try out all the different new systems and stuff like that. What are they leaving for when the game actually launches? That one boss fight at the end and a couple of cinematics and lines of dialogue? Is that it? Or is this what we have right now with this friends and family beta test? What a beta is actually meant to be. Is this a way for them to test all of it and have it flawless at launch? Is that their goal? Are they potentially keeping the amount of people they let in extremely limited and low because they don't want to spoil everyone? Do they not realize that everyone's going to watch it on Twitch or YouTube anyway? I don't know. I've been thinking about that today and I just can't come to... A proper conclusion about a lot of it. And that's why I wanted to ask you guys. What do you think? Do you like the fact that the whole act has just been laying out in front of us? Is it a good idea? Is it a better idea? Are you going to avoid it like the plague? Do you not want to be spoiled at all? That's going to be kind of difficult by the way. But 
Is that what you're going to do? Or are you instead super keen to jump in and give it a try? Perhaps level your existing heroes up to 70? Perhaps try the Crusader out? See all those new skills and abilities? What do you think? I'm undecided. I really don't know. I mean, I will say again, for someone like me, it's absolutely amazing having all that content to work with. Because there truly is a lot of content. And if I do get lucky enough to get in within the next couple of days, it's going to be really good for my YouTube channel. I can tell you right now that it would be amazing and amazingly lucky if I got in and started uploading videos for that, along with my other content, obviously, and just get, again, new people to watch my videos. I could promote them on different sites and stuff. That's great. So for someone like me in this line of work, yes, yes. But because I enjoyed playing through Diablo 3 as much as I did, because I enjoyed experiencing that story as much as I did, I'm a little sad. I'm a little saddened by the fact that I'm going to play through the entirety of Act 5 and see pretty much all there is to see. Again, as I said, bar the final boss fight, dialogue, cinematics, but see all there is to see before the game launches and then what's going to happen when I go to that midnight launch to pick up my copy. I'm not going to rush home to be excited. I'm not going to rush home and be super keen to log in because I would have already played through it multiple times. I don't know. Maybe I will be. Maybe I don't know the extent of what they've left out. Perhaps there is still a whole lot of surprise that awaits us. We'll have to see. I will have to see and I'm hopefully going to see soon. Hopefully going to get in there soon so I can put videos up for you guys to watch and enjoy. So I can perhaps do a one minute-ish guide on Act 5 or all the new things that were added in Reaper of Souls or something like that. Because you guys, a lot of you guys said that, you know, those are worth doing again. We'll see. I've got so much to talk about. I want to keep this semi-short at least. It's too late for that, obviously. But I'm going to save all the other talk perhaps for tomorrow or for another video. The talk relating to some of the input and comments I received on the Heart to Heart video. So chill. Hold out for that. And for now, just let me know what you think of Reaper of Souls. Let me know what you, what you think about the limited number of invites they sent out. Because I've never been a fan of the whole friends and family thing. I say that when they release a beta, they should just release it. And let a couple more people than this play. Let more than just this tiny number of people in. Because then the desperation isn't quite as bad. Those that really, really want to get in will be able to get in, etc, etc. <sighs> anyway. I could talk forever about this. But let me know what you think. Check back here soon for more. Give this video a like, share it, and do all that other good stuff. You guys are really good at that, it seems. Because, wow. The amount of likes and shares and favorites on the previous Tales of Ruin video... Astounding. Most importantly though, happy Reaper of Souls. Happy Reaper of Souls, friends and family beta. Happy Reaper of Souls, Act 5. Happy Reaper of Souls, Reaper of Souls, Reaper of Souls. Happy that.